Hi guys, so for today's five minute workout, we are gonna be utilizing paint cans. So if you are home and like to lift weights, but you don't have any free weights, <clears throat> paint cans, a lot of us usually have some of those laying around. If they've got some extra paint in them, they make great resistance uh, for most lifting type movements. So we're gonna kind of go through and we'll alternate like upper body, lower body moves. And, um, and yeah, let me show you guys here. So I have a heavier set and then a lighter set. So I'm gonna start with my lighter ones for the first arm move, but the first one is gonna be um, bent over rows. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'll show from the side. Actually, I'll show from the front, then I'll turn to the side. We're gonna hinge at the hips. Okay, so make sure you have a nice flat back when you hinge at the hips. All right, so legs are slightly bent. And then we're gonna take those paint cans and we're gonna just drive the elbows straight back. So of course, make sure that neck is nice and soft. You're basically bringing up those elbows to about a 90 degree angle and then straightening back out. You're keeping those elbows close into the rib cage, core is squeezing, back nice and flat. Okay, so just make sure you've got a nice firm grip on the paint cans. All right, so those bent over rows and then I'm gonna go to my heavier ones and we are just gonna hit some sumo squats here with weights. So you're gonna get a nice wide stance. You're gonna point those toes um, slightly outward and just hold those cans nice and strong right in the middle. And we're just gonna sink down and press up. All right, so make sure as you're pressing up out of that squat, you're squeezing those butt cheeks and kind of pressing those hips forward. Make sure your upper body is standing up nice and strong, shoulders down and back. We don't wanna be arching the upper body forward. And keep it nice and upright and always give a little squeeze at the top keep those butt cheeks engaged all right that's your second move third move i'm gonna go back to my lighter we're just gonna do some good old curls all right so i'm gonna um alternate on this just so i can really focus on making sure holding that paint can nice and strong so i have my palms um and you know, the inside of my wrist, they're facing upward right now. I have my elbows kind of locked in nice and close to the side of my body and I'm just gonna lift and then release. All right, so we're not releasing that arm completely to straight. You're gonna have a slight little bend here, but just nice and slow and controlled, alternating. And like I said, keep those elbows pinned in close to the side of your body. All right, you guys, I'm gonna switch back to the heavies. Such a simple move, good old calf raises, okay? So we're holding those weights by the side and all we're gonna do is press up to the balls of our feet and then lower. So just nice and slow and controlled and maybe hold it up there for an extra second to kind of have the muscles under tension for a little bit longer. All right, so there's your calf raises. And then final upper body move is gonna be some tricep extensions. All right, so I'm gonna show from the side here. Probably want your lighter weights for this one. Um, so we're gonna, again, hinge at the hips like we did on that bent over row. And what we're gonna do is we're going to Bring those arms up to 90 degrees, elbows and close to the body. Right now, my palms are facing the back of the room, okay? So I'm gripping um, the handles that way on the paint cans, and I'm just going to press back and then come forward. So you're pressing those arms back to a straight line, 180 degrees, then we come back to 90. So just work those angles, 180, 90. So those triceps are under tension right here at that 180. Nice and slow and controlled. Ooh. <laughs> These weights may have been a little ambitious, but just stay in it and keep those elbows pinching in close to the rib cage. There you go, guys. So uh, if you want to make this a five minute workout, there's lots of options, but one thing you can do is you can do each move for 50 seconds. Okay, and then you just take a little 10 second rest. So 
So do that for each of the five moves. Then of course, if you wanna make it a bigger workout, you can do multiple sets. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoy that one.